What is up, guys? And we are back with another reaction. This is going to be Trivium's The Sin and the Sentence. Now, I did check out uh, the previous one. Well, not the previous one. The recently released one called The Wretchedness Inside. And I would say I am a, a, a casual listener of Trivium at best. Uh, like, I definitely don't even know any of their hits. So, if that's something you guys want to see, drop them in the comments, please. Like, I would love to react to more. I was really impressed with what I heard on The Wretchedness Inside. So I decided to react to more from this album. If you again like, if you guys have any more, go ahead, drop them. I haven't really listened to much. I can't name a single Trivium song. So if you guys want to definitely see more, please suggest them. Um, so with that out of the way, we're going to be reacting to the sin in the sentence. This is definitely one of their more popular ones in terms of views. So hey, it must be good. So with that out of the way, we're going to react to it. Triangle Flame. Heffy. Okay, definitely going strong with that intro there. Uh, just we're going to wait a couple seconds. I can't really judge by that first couple seconds. So, go. Okay, definitely I'll let, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna bring it back. Okay, thoughts on it. This seems like a more upbeat song than that last one I heard. As so, as what I've heard, it seems like they're going into a bit of a softer verse. So, uh, we'll see. I definitely am not opposed to bands uh, checking out their softer side. I definitely don't have a problem with that whatsoever. Let's check it out. I heard the passing bells calling out my name. I knew I'd never see another day. I couldn't swim against the tides of blame. I knew there was no other way. That's going into a course, I'm almost guaranteed, or at least a pre course. So what, are, what thoughts on it so far? I am really enjoying this. I think I might like this a little bit more than the wretchedness inside in terms of how it sounds and stuff. I, uh, it's got a more classic heavy metal sound than, um, than the wretchedness. Wretchedness has more of a, a metalcore sound. This is definitely more of a classic heavy metal with definitely some metalcore influences. So uh, really liking it so far. Pretty sure that we're gonna bring that back a couple of seconds. That didn't do anything, so that's okay. And continue. So, thoughts. I had some. I have some really cool thoughts about that chorus. I definitely like how he was doing the clean vocals, and then he was like he was doing a callback at the same time using more screaming slash growling vocals. I definitely like that. That was a very cool contrast in that uh, in that part of the song, and that was definitely really cool. And uh, we're gonna continue. in my face unintentionally I had to uh, reposition myself and we're going to continue there was a real pause it was obviously because of the uh, stupid um, copyright filter
Okay. Um, man, this is really good. I, I'm really enjoying this. And uh, I don't have really much else to say. The only reason we're pausing is because of the stupid copyright filter. Okay, going a little into a little bit of a transition here. I have definitely am really liking that course. I could definitely tell that this was meant as a single, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, right? Uh, some of the best songs are singles out of a band's career. And continue. Okay, you guys know why we're doing this. I really don't have any complaints with this song. I'm trying to find something to complain about, and I really can't. <laughs> Cynic in me wants to complain about something, but I really can't. And continue. Okay, a little bit of a solo. Last beat. A little bit of dueling guitars with some uh, blast beats and double bass. Pretty good. And continue. I was getting a little bit too into it. That was way, I was a little bit over the mark. I don't think that's going to affect us, though. Hopefully it doesn't, at least, right? Um, yeah, just going to wait a couple seconds. I really love that chorus. Try to keep it family friendly here. I don't care if bands use profanity, but I, I uh, got people who watch my videos. I don't, I don't want to disappoint. So it's just a personal preference. Beware those who speak in tongues, they may call your name. I hope, did I get that right? I don't know, sounds like a little weird. And continue. Ooh. 
Going a little bit heavy here. I like it. Why couldn't they do this the full the full song? I, I I like it and I don't at the same time when bands use the best riff in a song like to close it out. I wish they would do the whole song like that. Ah. All right. Let's go. Ooh. Went out with a bang, huh? I'm sorry guys, I'm pretty sure that's going to end in like a second or two. I have to obey the stupid rules. Apologies. Uh, if I didn't do that, there's a good chance I could have got a copyright claim. And there's been a couple times where I went a couple seconds over, um, over 20 seconds and that very well could have. Since I've, I've got, actually got it at like 24 seconds, so... I try to stay 20 seconds or under. Um, thoughts on the song. I definitely have some thoughts on the song. One, the first thing that stood out to me was that um, the contrast in the chorus. They had a clean vocals, and then they had growling or screaming, whatever you want to call it, like uh, like while the chorus is playing. So like while he's singing these these clean vocals, the, um, the distorted vocals are also um, playing as well. And I thought that was a really cool way to do the song. Um... I definitely thought uh, this solo was, wait, I actually can't even remember this had a solo. Yes, it did. Okay. It has solo. I don't even know why I didn't think it did. Uh, I guess it's because I'm tired and I'm getting kind of sleepy. Um, and I definitely thought they saved the best uh, riff at the end for last. And that's the only criticism I can find. I wish they would do the, bands in general do this all the time. And it's a pet peeve of mine where they take the best riff and they use it for the end of the song. Uh, or they use the best um, they use the best variation like sometimes like bands will go double time someone go half time for the end and it really frustrates me as a, as a listener when they could have done that the whole way through um, but I respect them it's their music it's not mine um, would I do it differently yeah I would uh, but that's that's their call not mine uh, thoughts on the song I would give this about a nine I really enjoyed this song and I will definitely listen to it again in the future. I really don't have anything to complain about, um, so I guess just just the cynic in me that's rating it a nine. <laughs> It'll definitely be one I listen to. I actually I don't I can't bring it up for you without without um, disrupting the video, but I actually still listen to uh, the wretchedness inside all the time, and uh, it's definitely one of my uh, one of my favorite songs that I've reacted to on this channel. So with that out of the way, drop a like if you liked the sin in the sentence. I know I definitely did, and I will be listening to it again in the future. Drop a subscription if you want to see more Trivium uh, reactions. And also, drop a comment. Please, 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 please. Drop a comment suggesting more Trivium songs to listen to. And with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. This has been Christ. I'll see you guys next time.